We have certainly been seeing very cold temperatures all across the Treasure Valley the last several days. That's not going to change over the next couple of days, but we haven't seen temperatures quite as cold as up in our mountain areas. Redfish Lake this morning up near Stanley, negative four degrees. So if you're heading up into the mountains, be prepared like this individual who's got the heavy uh, coat, the heavy gloves, the heavy hat. You're going to need it all. Add on those layers, especially even here in the Treasure Valley if you're making plans for your New Year's Eve celebration with single digits on the way. More on that in a moment, but for now, we saw scattered snow showers in the mountains today. We even saw a couple flurries here in the Treasure Valley, much more likely to see widespread snow showers across the Treasure Valley and in the mountain regions throughout the day Wednesday and into Thursday. And that's why we have a winter weather advisory in place, even here in the Treasure Valley. So these areas shaded in purple are going to be impacted by snow throughout the day tomorrow. Some of these regions beginning tonight at 11 o'clock, many others starting tomorrow morning and lasting throughout tomorrow evening around 5 p.m. In this pink region, we have a winter storm warning with more snow expected to accumulate three to six inches here and this is really going to be impacting travel at times with blowing snow and drifting snow and snow accumulating on roadways and even here in the Treasure Valley about one to three inches expected for the Treasure Valley communities if you live closer to the foothills maybe closer to two to four inches and areas around Ontario could be picking up more than that with steady snow for several hours overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So we'll time it out for you here in the future cast overnight tonight. Widespread snow showers are going to be developing through the central mountains and in areas of the Treasure Valley. We've paused this here at 730 tomorrow morning. We could be seeing areas of moderate snow north of Boise and around Ontario and maybe some snow also impacting your commute along the I-84 corridor by later in the morning. We do expect that snow to shift further south by noon. We've paused it here. Moderate snow expected across the Treasure Valley, including along I-84 from mountain home all the way through Ontario, even approaching the Magic Valley by that time of day. And then we clear out through the evening and overnight, but more snow is pushing on in Thursday morning to do kind of a repeat for our morning commute on Thursday at 730. We could be seeing snow flying in the mountains again, a break in the afternoon and then more snow just in time for our evening commute Thursday at 5 p.m. So overall, the next couple of days, just anticipate snow showers off and on across the region. We do have that winter weather advisory for tomorrow. We do expect accumulation even here in the Treasure Valley, where we see this blue shade of one to three inches of snow in some areas, you know, in the northern side of the Treasure Valley, maybe falling into that three to six inch range of snow, maybe three inches for Bogus Basin in Idaho City tomorrow. By Thursday, we add a couple of inches to our snow totals. By Friday, a few more for our high elevations, and then we see a break for a few days, and then some more snow moving in next Next week. So this takes us all the way through January 7th or 10 day outlook, maybe an inch and a half to almost two feet of snow for or a foot and a half to two feet of snow for some of our higher elevations. Now again, we see those snow showers continuing throughout the next couple of days with temperatures plummeting by the weekend. So even though we see some sunshine and clearing, we're going to see the coldest weather we have seen so far this season. And that could mean our low temperatures around New Year's Eve, midnight could be in the single digits with overnight lows beginning the new year down to around negative one, negative two degrees. So for tomorrow, mid 20s doesn't sound too bad. We will be seeing snow again, one to three inches across the Treasure Valley up in the mountain areas, three to six inches for our mountain communities. Idaho City topping off at 25 degrees tomorrow. Same for council, maybe nine or more inches for the highest elevations around those communities and one to three inches expected to accumulate in the East Central Mountains. Very cold starts again to the day near zero for Stanley with temperatures not climbing up a whole lot more than above the teens. So here in the Treasure Valley again, temperatures well below freezing for the next several days, often on snow showers expecting to accumulate could impact your travel over the next couple of days. So again, if you are heading out of the region or out of the area, you can always go to 511 and check out those latest conditions online before you go and use those webcams to view live road conditions to make sure that your route is safe before you head out.